thing a lot of us have been wondering as this whole deandre hopkins watch continues to go on where is he going to end up where is he going to land where is deandre hopkins going to sign he's taking visits with the tennessee titans and the new england patriots thus far we'll see if he ends up scheduling any more uh, but it's been said that both teams they like what they saw both teams will be interested in signing them but when we hear about the Patriots' interest, it seems to be on a whole nother level than the Tennessee Titans was. I mean, he went out to Tennessee, he was out there in the private jet and whatnot, went to the country concert and all that. Apparently had a good time, but then it, with New England, it just seemed to be a little bit different. Because we keep on hearing these reports that that interest is really, really mutual and the Patriots really, really want to land DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, I couldn't blame him. You got a young Mac Jones. You just gave him Juju Smith-Schuster. Excuse me. Super Bowl champion Juju Smith-Schuster. And to pair him alongside with DeAndre Hopkins and, and, and that running game, that, that they could do something. I, I mean, I don't really see them coming out of the East, the, the AFC East, anything strong, really the AFC in general. But still, that could help your young quarterback. And you want to do everything you can at possible to help your young quarterback. So he'll be a good move. Short-handed wide receiver, done, done it all in the league except win a, win a championship. That's the only thing that he got left to accomplish. But... Would Patriots put him in the best position to do that? I don't think so, but anyway, Matt Judon, who us Ravens fans, we are definitely very familiar with. We know Matt Judon, know him for his on-the-field stuff, but also the off-the-field stuff, too, and just how just goofy Matt Judon could be. Matt Judon is somebody that likes to have fun. He likes to joke around. He likes to troll. And the other day, DeAndre Hopkins, during his visit, he posted a picture with him and Matt Judon in the locker room, just cheesing. And on that picture, he put La Familia. And that means the family. Well, I think it means the family in Spanish. Anybody, let, let me know if I'm wrong. But anyway, Matt Judon was like, all right, you know what? That's cool, but let me take it to another level. So then on Twitter, Matt Judon, he tweeted, GM of the year? And... A lot of people are thinking, uh, okay, why would he put that? What would be the reasoning? What was that for? What was that about? Who was that about? Was that about who we think? Or could it? Uh... And somebody replied to him and said, uh, not yet. You haven't done anything respectfully. Obviously, I think that would be geared more towards uh, Bill Belichick, Robert Kraft, and just the whole New England Patriots front office um, because – we haven't heard anything. We haven't heard an announcement or anything that anybody's been signed or DeAndre Hopkins specifically. So that's who that was for. And then Matt Judon's response, he just sent the gift. Just like, mm, and, and that could lead a lot of us to believe, like, hey, is, is, is something on the way? Is, is something brewing over there in New England between them and DeAndre Hopkins? Could it be? Could they have everything that DeAndre Hopkins is looking for in a team to continue his career? Is the bread going to be right? Is the chemistry going to be right? Is the, the team environment going to be right? Is, is, I mean, it is a pretty well-run organization, I'd say so. You got the coach. The defense is solid. And, I mean, they could get better, even better this year. So, what's up? I mean, the old quarterback thing, that's a little question mark still, but... You got a lot of the other stuff. And, and, I mean, if the money comes right, if the money is right, then DeAndre Hopkins might be like, forget that list that I was talking about. I ain't worried about none of that. But could Matt Judon be on to something? Does he know something? Or is he just trolling? Is he just playing the game? And I guess it's just one of those things that we really won't know till we know. Because players, man, players will do this type of stuff because pl players are in the know. They're in it, well, for some stuff, they're in the know. Because if you remember, uh, just this year with, with Ravens, remember when um, there were the rumors going around that the Ravens were interested in Darius Slay. They were ready to get Darius Slay, cornerback from the Philadelphia Eagles. Who the, It was said that the Eagles were getting ready to release him. And because they couldn't find a trade partner or nothing, so it's, it was said that they were getting ready to release him. Um, and then you saw some Ravens players, especially like Marlon Humphrey, tweeting the eyes emojis. And when players, like, they, they know that we be watching that stuff. They know that we see that stuff. And I remember when, when I saw that, I didn't really think nothing of it. I'm like, oh, Marlon Humphrey, he just trolling, da 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 But then it came out later on 
that the Ravens really were trying to sign Darius Slay. And it came directly from him. He said it. He let it, he said, hey, the, the, the Ravens, the Ravens, they were the team. They were trying to sign. And, and he said that the, the money, it, it was the same thing what the Eagles were matching. I mean, what the Eagles gave him. So Ravens were willing to pay Darius. They were willing to pay him that money. And they were they were really trying to get him. So they were really trying to upgrade that other corner opposite Marlon Humphrey. And I mean, that would have been nice. But I wonder how they, the rest of their offseason would have went if they would have made that move. I mean, they could have still went crazy. But I guess it's just one of those things that we'll never know. But I say all that to say this, that players, they know some stuff. And when you see different like little emojis and stuff, different stuff that they be tweeting, hey, they may be on to something. But with Matt Judon, it's like, man, because we know that he's such a troll. We know he's such a troll. But could he actually mean business this time? I guess we'll just have to wait and see, baby. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. Let me know what y'all think. You, you think DeAndre Hopkins, if, big if, capital I-F, if DeAndre Hopkins does go to the Patriots, you think they could make some noise? You think that would be a good fit? You think they could shake up the AFC East? Or do you think it would just be like, oh, okay, he went to the Patriots. All right, it is what it is. Anyway, let me know. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you do not miss not one single thing. And just like it comes to DeAndre Hopkins being in free agency, soon enough he could end up finally being out. But hopefully it's not with the Patriots. Hopefully it ends up being with the Ravens. But we'll see. I, I mean, we'll see. I love y'all.